Okay, so uh, we're ready to rock and roll. Thanks, Ant. Okay, folks, this is uh, our new uh, KK series uh, uh, wood boiler. Um, and what we're going to do today is just um, demonstrate lighting the thing, how easy it is to use, a bit of a quick look at the control panel, a bit of a quick look at the important valves, recommend using with this thing and um, the, uh, a demonstration accumulator tank which is just over to my right here and, and if you just pull in on that what you can see is we've got temperature strips here from top to bottom and right now all the temperatures are way below 25 degrees within that tank and what we're going to see a little bit later is this boiler generate hot water and fill this thing from the top down to the bottom and you'll see the transitions from uh, very hot water to the water sitting below it. Okay, just by the way, so here's our uh, hot water supply line that's going to fill this uh, accumulating tank. Down the bottom is our return line. And just down the bottom here is this very interesting ladder mat style valve and circulator. And uh, it does a whole bunch of um, stuff we can talk about some other time. Okay, so obviously being a um, wood boiler, one of the first things we've got to do is uh, light the fire. So we'll just quickly demonstrate that. Um, just going to put my finger on this button here, which is the power button, and I'm going to hit the auto button, and you might be able to pick it up on the sound, but the the uh, fan on the back of the um, KK boiler has kicked in, which will make lighting our fire a lot easier for us. Um, this temperature here is the current temperature of the water in our system and in fact um, that's the current temperature of the water at the back at the top of the boiler where there's a um, thermostatic sensor. Okay so let's uh, light this thing, uh, let's just start, we'll open the top thing up, this is a three door system. Uh, the top door is just here and that's where our fire is going to be and this would normally be where you'd stake the fire with lots and lots of uh, nice dry uh, timber pieces once you've got a little bit of um, hot embers down the bottom there. The middle door is the lighting door and uh, so let us just grab a, a box of matches or a burner gun in the And what we're going to do is get this fire going. Okay, so um, we'll come back in about uh, five minutes and we'll stoke this fire up. Okay, so just pause. Good idea. Okay, uh, we're around about 10 to 15 minutes uh, later now. What you can see up here is this display showing that the top of the tank is at 70 degrees. And this funny little pump symbol here means that the pump on the back of our ladder mat control system at the back here has switched on. So let's just talk about this for a minute. Um, what we can see is that the temperature coming in down this pipe is around about uh, 65 degrees centigrade. So that right now the water is in a closed loop coming down from the top of the boiler and folding back into the return line of the boiler. You can see here that the return line is increasing slightly in temperature and it's sitting somewhere looks like it's about 50 degrees right here. So the pump is, is circulating and it's circulating this water 60-62 back into the return line. So 
there's lots of advantages to this, and one is um, it um, helps conserve the long life of the boiler, and um, um, and avoid condensation issues and manage condensation issues. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is that one of the other features of this ladder mat uh, valve is that it's more than just a circulator and a valve. It's got a um, it's got a thermostat in it. This one's set to 63 to 65 degrees centigrade. When it gets to that temperature, it will permit cold water to come in from our accumulating tank and be mixed with this hot water coming in there and then go back into the return line. As soon as that valve opens up and starts drawing cold water in here from the accumulating tank... Yep, so as soon as that thermostat down in there opened up at 63 to 65 degrees, hot water now flows and start filling up our tank here, Ant. So if you come over now, everyone, you'll see that the water here is indicating it's starting to heat up a little bit. It looks like it's nearly 25 degrees C. And if you put your hand at the top of the tank, right there I can feel the transition from water that's at about 65 degrees, and basically there it's just still cold to warm, but it is slowly warming up. So what's going to happen is our... KK32 is going to build up this big accumulation of very hot water. Okay, so let's go back over here. So the next thing we're going to do is um, have a quick look in there. We've got some nice uh, coals at the bottom there. So what we're going to do is stoke our boiler right up. Now, of course, this is just a demonstration. Just a couple of things to point out here is that when you do open this door, the uh, smoke is sucked into this uh, channel here, which is great. Uh, and the other thing is, if you're filling this up at home or work, you would be a bit more careful than what we've been here, stoking the um, combustion chamber. All right, so that'll be plenty of timber for us. We might put a couple more in. And we're now going to shut the door. See the um, console here shows that the door's open. So we'll shut that. And our water's still sitting up there at 70 degrees. Our circulating pump is kicked back on. And just while we're in this area, everyone, this fan at the back is a modulating fan. So as the top of the boiler approaches a preset limit, which on this I think I've set it to about 80 degrees or 85 degrees centigrade, that fan will modulate down and start to slowly choke the fire. Okay, so we'll see you soon. Okay guys, so now it's about uh, half an hour after the last um, Installment. And if you just come over here, Ant, you can see the top of this tank is getting real hot. That's uh, somewhere around 70 to 75 degrees. And if you drop down, put your hand on here, which I can do, it's the same temperature down here. So the water level is moving down, 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 down. And the transition from real hot is around about here to real cold. And if you go down to the bottom, you'll see that that's still quite cold down there. So what our um, KK32 uh, boiler is doing, by the way, of course, is uh, charging or accumulating very hot water in our small demonstration accumulator tank. Um, just get a shot, Ant, if you will, of the, um, of the blowtorch flame, if possible, through the glass. Yep. Mm. Bit of a picture there. 
Okay, so, and again, everyone, just a reminder that this is a gasification boiler. The uh, timber uh, burns at a very high temperature, around about 900 to 1100 degrees centigrade. That's one of its reasons for its high efficiency. Um, the next thing we can just have a quick look at is that this system, this test system here, everyone, is uh, configured as a uh, closed to atmosphere system. So, just point out some bits and pieces. So, to permit our water system, which is the accumulating tank and the water in the copper pipes and the water in the boiler itself, we've got about a 50 litre expansion tank down there. Um, the ladder mat valve we've talked about, and just something of interest down here, Ed, if you come in close, there's our uh, fly line hot water from the boiler is around about 70 degrees centigrade and our return on here from the accumulator tank is still quite cold because that cold water of course gravitates to the bottom of the tank and uh, here's our return line at about 50 degrees so it's mixing water from the cold water from here and the hot water from there and sending that back to the boiler. Uh, just other bits and pieces um, and what we're down here is just our auto fill valve and pressure valve so the pressure is set to about one and a half bars or um, about 25 psi there. Uh, just other features at the back end here at the, at the back end of this system is here's our 240 volt um, fan and this is the fan that uh, sucks air in through the combustion chamber down through a, a special like blowtorch notch and then you get that uh, flame shooting down the back here. Um, up the top here we've got a two or three um, <laughs> special uh, valves. Um, this is a normal uh, three bar pressure relief valve so if the system got too much pressure it would open up and discharge. Another special valve is this Kalefi um, valve. Now what this does everyone is senses, you might want to go around the other side there Ant. What this valve does is if this sensor here which is monitoring the uh, hot water or the flow line temperature gets over 99 degrees centigrade in other words, it's getting close to boiling, it will open up the main pressure water that's in there and shoot it out through here. So right now it's shut. If it gets up to uh, 100 degrees or 99 degrees up here, this little guy will open up and this water here will shoot through a little heat exchange of coil inside the water of the boiler and evacuate heat, in other words, flush heat out and that would then so that's the input to that coil and then the coil comes th through the hot water inside of there. So again, it's just another safety feature. Um, and I guess the last fitting or valve, although it's not really a valve, is this air and dirt remover, everyone. This removes um, air from the system so that the uh, water in the system becomes oxygen free. And then at the bottom here we've got a, a flusher valve, a little half inch valve that you can open up, say, once every two weeks or every four weeks to flush accumulated dirt that gravitates to the bottom of that air and dirt remover. Okay everybody, so that's pretty much it. We'll just come back next time just to show you that um, this stratification or this filling of this hot water tank right now, it's around about here and when we see it next, which will be in about five minutes, the hot water will have moved all the way to the bottom here. Okay, so we'll see. Okay, so we've been going for about three quarters of an hour now, and um, Ant, you come in on um, our buffering tank, we can see that the bottom of the tank is around 70 to 75 degrees, so the tank is nearly full of beautiful, very hot water, and what we'll see back down at our three-way, our circulating pump and mixing valve system here is that this return line, because the entire tank's full, 
this return line is creeping up to 70 degrees as well. Now what's going to happen now everyone is, you know, the fire's still going in the boiler, but the fan will start to modulate back a little bit. And we can see that that's happening already. There was five blocks there and that little fan, that little symbol, indicates the fan speed. So that fan is being um, ratcheted back now. And the reason for that is that the control system knows, hey, we're approaching 80 to 85 degrees, so we're starting to slow things down. Okay, so unless anyone's got any questions, that's pretty much it. Just to finish off, we might um, just have a quick look at how the fire's going inside here. So stand back everyone, and you can pretty much see a lovely pool, if that's the right word, of nice hot embers. Okay, so anyone got any questions, just um, give us a ring here at uh, Kroll Heaters in in Daniel on Victoria or on one eight hundred eight oh five two four three if interested in this gasification uh, boiler this unit here just to finish off again is a thirty two kilowatt uh, rated unit um, and would be extremely suitable for most domestic applications. Okay, thank you.